First open in 2002. There's a look inside Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, the Motor City. Tonight, we start week 11 of the NFL season with a good one here between the Los Angeles Rams and the Detroit Lions. The NFL season has hit high gear, and off we go in week 11 on EA Sports. And no run back here, so they'll bring it out to the 25. down they'll start out with acres and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line an excellent way to start the drive there 18 yards great beginning there under the bright lights of prime time yeah it takes you back to high school football on a friday night doesn't it when you feel like every eye in the county is on you in this case every eye in prime time is on you one play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. They'll go again here with Akers. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. First down Los Angeles there with a pickup of 14 yards. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, could be a long night defensively no doubt about it because when they are in sync as we're seeing so far with that continuity is there and you can see that they're yeah. playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers you're exactly right it could be a very hey, long night for the you. defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage well he tries to force it in and it's intercepted Picked off by Amani Oruwoye. And the Lions are going to get possession here as they force the opening drive turnover. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football, but at the same time, you're looking at them and going, where are the weaknesses? How are we going to move it? One of the top defenses in the NFL for a reason. We just saw one example right there. On the ground, it's Swift to start the drive. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Part of their struggles last week was getting these negative plays on first and second down. That's something they have to be wary of as this game continues. play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. So we race the flag. They decline it. And did they use the big eraser or was that the one at the end of the number two pencil? Well, I was thinking the, like the two by two inch ones that you can buy and use yeah, yeah. in and addition listen, to the pencil. And those last for a long time. No doubt. Flushed out right. That's caught by the big tight end, T.J. Hawkinson. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. Now that's all about making something happen as a quarterback because instead of forcing something on third down, how about him buying some time outside of the pocket, waiting for someone to come open? And when he did, he put it on him for a big play and a first down. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. The Lions at one and eight now on the year. And they come in off the extended break from the bye. And I think it was much needed as well because you play two, two and a half months. You know you're ready for some time off in order to get prepared for the home stretch. In fact, when they looked at the schedule to start the season, I think they liked where their open week fell. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. From the gun on third down, Contreras. 
Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and his early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. On first and 10, it's Swift. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They'll try and run here with Swift. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. It's a 7-yard gain and good enough to move the chains. A stop there on third. They could have held him to three on this opening drive. Now they have to bow their necks on first to go. And if I'm looking at this from the offense's point of view, that's a big-time pickup right there. And I go right at him with another momentum play. I go quickly and attack them because right now they probably have their heads down a little bit since they didn't stop him on third down. Give him three on the keeper there, and it is second down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Now this time he'll look to throw. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. And that's an early scramble to be viewed positively by either side. From the offensive point of view, it begins to establish it as a possibility to keep it on certain plays. And defensively, they avoided giving up a huge play in one of their first tests in containing a quarterback on the run. Give him a couple on the run there, and now they're in that in-between area here on fourth and goal. And this one is right through. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but that's really they set up for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. to begin their next drive the Rams offense at the line their second drive here the ball game Charles remember last time they threw the interception but the defense held up it bent a little but didn't break only giving up the three points yeah obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out but boy they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick their turn now back up Okay, ready? One play oh, has okay. him up past the 40 already, and another first and Five, 10. Three, three. Hey. He'll look to throw. He's got the hookup downfield to Samuel. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 26 big yards on that one. It's another first down. Now they, they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10. Down at the 33. Now back to throw. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. Second and 10 from the 33-yard line. They give up the middle to Akers. 
And he'll go down here right around the 23-yard line. 42 yards rushing for him now to this point. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase, don't they? Because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance and guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong run game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. That's into the hands of Akers complete. And he is going to have a Rams first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. They'll go with Akers here up the middle. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. The last run got six, now second and four. He'll look to throw. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. That's not the first time they've gone his way on this drive, and they were obviously keyed into him because they were there to help break that pass up. This will be the eighth play of the drive here, third and four. He'll drop to throw. And it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. A great effort there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Rams have moved out in front. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And from the end zone, Deontay Hardy will bring it out. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. Here we go. Here we the Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they are losers of two straight coming into this Thursday night game. Is it more difficult, CD, when you take a losing streak into a quick turnaround game like this? It certainly is because you don't get time to work on the issues that you've had throughout the season that caused you to have the record that you're having. You can't really get those set. So now you're trying to minimize those and maximize what you've been doing well. And I remember a game recently where one of the assistant coaches said to the head coach, forget our running back rotation. This guy has a hot hand, and they rode him to a victory. Those are things you have to look out for in games like this. They're trying to find Chark, but it's intercepted. And the Rams are going to take possession of the football. CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it, and his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on-the-job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. And he's going to be out of bounds down around the 35-yard line. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle. You put it all together, you got heck of a tight end candidate. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Looking to throw. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. This defense has certainly played well so far in this game, and the coverage has been tight on just about every throw. Forced a few here so far in this game, and now it brings up fourth down. 
And Gay knocks this one through. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. to So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing the coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense. The firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they had lost two in a row prior to getting the open week last weekend, so potentially a chance for them to get away for a bit, keel up, and come back strong. That's what the hope is anyway, because you're going to find out now with your team, are you still focused on being the best you can be for the rest of the season with the things going the way they have earlier this year? And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties, and he's able to knock that one away. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Try to get it to Williams, but it's intercepted. Picked off by David Long. And the Rams are going to take possession of the football. Well, those have been a problem for him all season, but never quite as much as they have in these last few minutes. Let's count it up now. A pair of picks on his team's last two drives and double-digit interceptions this season. I don't care if you're the best in the game or an undrafted rookie. You've got to take better care of the football or you're going to cost your team chances. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Sometimes you get all those big guys down there in one spot. And there's just nowhere to go. And in this case, the defensive tackle used his strength and swallowed him up. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. And he's going to be taken down. Back around the 35-yard line. They brought him in off the corner. And he gets in and drop him for a loss of four. Well, it was second long. Now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving them exactly the way they want to. But you're exactly right. Definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is caught. It's Davis. And he's going to have a Rams first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain of 19 yards. And the Rams first down. Our score, 10-3 to three with two minutes remaining in quarter number two. Ready. So the ball down to the 16 yes. here for first and 10. <laughs> They'll give this to Akers running right. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. We knew both of these safeties were good in run support, but how about the play we just saw there? How about that closing speed? Able to get to the outside part of the field and turn that play into a loss. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. Set up a throw. Looking underneath, he's got Akers. And he'll get seven yards from the 17 to the 10 before he's taken down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game, so you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. Gay's kick is good, and they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13 3. So they get the turnover in plus territory. The drive stalls out, but still able to get three out of that. Yeah, we were able to see an offense and a defense kind of mix and match with each other, didn't we? Both of them 
trying to make sure that they have the upper hand and the advantage. Offense trying to get to the end zone. Defense, of course, trying to hold them to a field goal attempt. And it wasn't a guaranteed lock three from where they started. So, you know, the offense has to be happy to come away with those three points. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. And this will wind up Alliance first down as he gets it up past the 35. Now a timeout called for by the offense as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. First and 10 here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game in half that might provide a psychological boost. And hard running's going to get him over the 40 to the 42. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. Back to throw. Contreras. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Looking to throw, Contreras. He's got his man, T.J. Hackinson. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 23 yards, the final tally. Normally on third down and short yardage, you're thinking of throwing your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down, and then some. On first down, Contreras. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Boy, so another interception, CD. It feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still a work in progress here in his second season. He has to start ironing out some of these mistakes, though, because now his head coach, his offensive coaches, they have to evaluate whether you keep playing him and let him work through it, or you start thinking about going to his backup. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. A great play there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Rams will extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. And a fair catch signal four and taken successfully. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And with seven seconds remaining, not much time to really do anything. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he's going to lose yardage, not that it matters, as the final seconds tick away. So we've come to halftime. It's the visiting Rams taking the lead to the break. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. It'll be Lions football to start the second half, and they trail here as we get back underway on EA Sports. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. First down, Contreras to the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. 17 yards on the play as they try to eat into this 17-point deficit. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. From 
the gun. Here's Swift. And a good run here as he'll run it all the way down to the 40-yard line. 18 more yards there and another first down. So they go pass, now they go run, and two plays resulting in really nice pickups. Certainly sounds like a 50-50 deal, doesn't it? Sounds like great balance. Well, you know what all those coaches have told us over the years, Brandon, that balance is? It means doing what you want to when you want to. That play call is working very well for them right now. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. He was unable to shake free there. They'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Second and 11 at the 41. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of one, now a loss of two, and they're staring at a third and 13. you got to figure the further they fall behind, the more you think that they'll get away from the run. They're trying to stick with it, but the results, they just aren't there. Throwing on third and long, Contreras. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. And the Rams are going to take possession of the football. Well, I certainly think that we're seeing a big reason why this team has struggled to put points on the board so far because too many of their drives have ended in turnovers already, and we still have almost a full half of football yet to play. Are you ready? They go play action here on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. And while we may be looking at the scoreboard, this offense certainly is not because they're showing no signs of backing down, even with a three-score lead here in the third quarter. I think they keep taking their shots. They've seen blown leads happen throughout this league. They don't want to fall victim to it themselves. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, here we go. nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Ready? From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. Four yards to go on second down from the seven. Again, he'll drop to throw. Throwing it a traffic there, and that's complete. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal, but you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time. And, and it's complete. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Rams. Gabriel Davis there to make the grab as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead is now 24. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football. And now the Rams have got it going the other way. And fantastic field position has them just outside the 10 at the 11-yard line in the red zone. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. First down screen pass, good for five. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, back door them, and that time worked well for a solid game. Second and five. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by John Johnson. He's at the 50. 
30, past the 20. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. Well, still down quite a bit here, several scores, but yeah, at least that's a start. Charles getting the interception here, and look, we're still in the third quarter, so this thing not done yet. You're right about that, Brandon. This defense, they haven't quit on this game. They stayed with it and got an interception and handed the ball back to their offense. And what you wonder about is the team that just threw that interception, they got to be careful about developing a sense of complacency and thinking this game is over. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there. But that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. To throw on second down, Contreras. And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end, take some easier completions. The interception last drive there, he hits the reliable target. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. And he's going to take it in for a Lion touchdown. It's their quarterback scoring on the two-yard keeper. And the Lions are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. They'll look to throw. And they're going to get the two-point conversion caught in the end zone. And that cuts the lead a bit further. That's still an uphill battle from here, that's for sure. But that makes it a two-score game. And now we see why teams practice so much on the two-point conversion, why you have more than one play ready. Because you may need multiples to throw out a ball game. There's a great example right there. Set to begin their next drive, the Rams offense at the line. Their lead down to two scores after the touchdown a moment ago as they start with a first and ten. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Call it no gain on the play, and that'll be second down. Let's just make this one succinct. Nice job there, all 11 guys on defense. Diagnosing the jet sweep and putting it down. Thanks for joining us here on a Thursday night in the NFL. Third quarter, second and ten coming up. They'll look to throw. Catch is made. It's Harmon. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Here we go, set. One, now here's Samuel on the end of the round. And that one covered beautifully. The defenders stay home and they'll stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because let's face it, you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. So the first down run lost a couple. Now they come up second and 12. Back to throw. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 33. A good pick up there, 22. They'll look to throw now on first down. They'll set up the screen here to Akers. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with a little gain. Here we go. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. Right, right. Yes, yes. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. And he's got his big tight end over the middle, complete. 
And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. 23 yards on the play. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll run here with Akers. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. A terrible spot for a holding call as he'll try again, but now from further back on first and goal. On the give, this is Akers. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Starting to become a tough spot for this defense. You're down fourth quarter, looking a little fatigued maybe on that side of the ball. Partner, we've seen this before, haven't we? Because every coach we've ever talked to says body language is important. And now you're seeing guys with their hands on their hips and bent over, hands on their knees. And the offensive guys are just saying, let's just keep running it out. And we've got them now. Call it a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Fourth quarter, you've got the lead. You have to stay in bounds and run that clock. Coaches, that'll drive them crazy. Sacrifice a yard or two if you have to. Just go down, inbounds, keep that clock going. It's almost like he was caring more about his fantasy stats than it was about winning the game. But that has to drive a coach crazy. Akers is into the end zone. Touchdown, L.A. I've heard you use the term put-away drive, and that right there seemed like the definition of a put-away drive. Yeah, it certainly just pops right up out of the book, doesn't it? Because up two scores already, just wanted to possess the football, keep converting and picking up first downs, and if the drive ends in three points, that's terrific. If it ends in a touchdown, fantastic. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They were coming off the extra week of rest, but this team started sluggish and it really didn't get any better from there. And trailing big here in this fourth quarter. So the completion good for six yards, and it'll be second down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackle. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep them. Nowhere to go here, he lost the football. And now the Rams have got it, going the other way. And they are gonna score on the fumble return, touchdown LA. So the big fella gets on the scoreboard with a return for a touchdown. Good thing he didn't have to go too far, though. You know the trainers were very happy about that. Imagine having to go get him in the end zone, escort him to the bench, and give him the oxygen. They were loving the fact that he got in without having to run very far. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. And he'll be brought down here at the 28. 64 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Ramsey. And he will bring it back. It's an interception return for a Rams touchdown. So they obviously declined that, and it is a touchdown. They still have the option, but let's face it. There's no option. There's no option when you score a touchdown. An easy call for them. The extra point by Gay is up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. 
In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action, but other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. On any explosive run, you can almost feel the ground shaking, and that's from the offensive lineman creating space for their runners. I had an old coach tell me before that he always told his runners, Run around the offensive line in pregame. Get used to the ground shaking so you don't trip and fall when it happens in a game. Ready? Oh, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. Once again, it's Swift. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot of has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Swift going to try up the middle. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. We try to create space for your running back. The first thought is how physical is the offensive line. Sometimes it's just positioning. On that play, it didn't matter about positioning or being physical. The defensive front, they out leveraged them and won the battle. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater. He just made a great play there. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, here comes Swift. And he'll lose yardage here. Back to the 15. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do... type of people in life it's people that wake up and wish they had it and it's people that wake up and go get it we go get it baby Photo poor so photogenic all i know is to go go get it shoot my shot now i ain't gonna miss it all i know is to go go get it all my life i've been a go get up all i know is to go go get it wake up in the morning kiss my son then go go get it go go get it Go get it, photo poor, so photogenic. All my life I've been a go get up. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go go get it. Top floor, top dog, like I just signed a TDE. Gang, 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 gang. No, we all gotta eat. Up late, bills do rent do. I ain't been asleep. Looking in the mirror, all I see is everything that I wanted to be. My city depended on me. That's on G-O-D. Grew up watching my mom become what daddy couldn't be. I ball like MLB. These Bottega boots ain't cheap. My car ain't got no key. I push the start to start my week. I'm in this photo for so photogenic. All I know is to go, go get it. Shoot my shot, now I ain't gon' miss it. All I know is to go, go get it. All my life, I've been a go get up. All I know is to go, go get it. Wake up in the morning, kiss my son, then go, go get it. Go, go get it. Go, go get it. Photo. Yeah. Turn me up. Yeah. Hey, check it. Okay, I feel unstoppable. Losing's impossible. Go against the team, the thing they know not to do. for me who could be against me i guess all the that's against me they the ones stirring up the conflict they try to make it out like i'm conflicted east coast the six fours hitting switch it's
it's not a conflict of interest. Cut it with the business. West Coast rocking them Timberlands. Deep up in them trenches. It's no difference. Neither one play games when swinging for them fences. We want the finer things. The that's expensive. The that hit them either close range or at a distance. If God for me, why bother? I got my game from the Godfather. Top of the food chain, rock bottom. And handle my business when it was my problem. G. Crossing with a gold chain. I got my Turkish rope with matching gold fangs. Bomber jacket in the winter, it's a cold game. I met some East Coast up in Spokane. Some of the realest in this dope game. I got my curly top looking like special ed. Clean fade on the side, bumping that red head. Clean tags when I ride, ducking the fed feds. East Coast, they get that bread bread. You, you put the, put the, you end up dead, dead. The West Coast, they leave that spring. And now you got calling your great hate. If God for me, who could be against me? I guess all the that's against me. They the ones stirring up the conflict. They try to make it out like I'm conflict. <laughs> Tell me what I gotta do. Pull up in a bucket, cool. One for me and one for you. Yeah, like with the roof. Off the chain, don't cut me loose. Yeah, I'm off the chain, I'm off the noose. Yeah, get them picked off Bentley, white like cotton. Residential, so good, my doors don't gotta lock them. Watch the dirty money, what I see. I miscount cause I'm off a... Yeah, this bigger than a damn proxy. Call my he said copy. Get that buck like a boogie. I like riches, hit like nookies. You ain't scared of no, but you scared to put on your hoodie. Man, my like, like Woody. I just ripped it off the top. Cut it out the road, out the turf, out the block. I was already sold out of work by 10 o'clock. Too deep in the sheets, felt that baby to meant a lot. When they hush, cause the word I gotta do. I'm moving with a two. I pay trying to get my boy from the cabbage i collect my boy heard you this gorillas let me check my boy say nothing silly you regret my boy because we got banana on the my boy and i can send it in a text my boy thumbs up for the emoji with the flex my boy personalize every threat my boy toll free that's the wreck my boy and if you need a couple I'm gonna connect my boy off the top. I just ripped it off the top. Cut it out the road, out the turf, out the block. I was already sold out of work by 10 o'clock. Too deep in the streets, felt the pain. 